we must all endeavor to spread love, affection, and a sense of community. The spiritual leader of the Ahmadi Muslim community addressing the National Peace Symposium in London. More than a thousand people converged on Western Europe's biggest mosque to hear how unity and tolerance could help to end religious extremism and bigotry. At the moment, you know, there is not enough being done in this respect from the Muslims themselves. And therefore it is very, very important that the Muslims themselves raise this voice very clearly within their communities if we're going to bring this under control. Our message has always been the same. Follow the true teaching of Islam. The true teaching of Islam is about peace and love and harmony in society, not about destruction of humanity. Similar events are held around the world. International peace is the theme for 2012. His Holiness said immediate action was needed to establish peace. The alternative, he warned, was unthinkable. If a nuclear war breaks out, we will find that people will instantly die and freeze like statues and their skin will simply melt away. Drinking water, food and vegetation will be all contaminated and affected by radiation. We can only imagine what type of diseases such contamination will lead to. In London, we have the greatest diversity of communities on the earth and complete freedom of religion. This was the ninth annual conference of its kind in the country. The event attracted people from various faiths and political parties, including the London Mayor, Boris Johnson. The cure to prejudice is understanding. The cure to uh, bigotry and hate is, is knowledge. If people know about each other's religions, they know about um, uh, what people are, uh, really is in their hearts, then th there's never a problem. Absolutely fascinating to hear so many people talk about something as important as peace for the world. And I love the vision of it's not about what faith you are, it's about all working together for peace. I'm very happy to see the discipline and uh, they talk about the humanity. That's the main thing. The conference was an opportunity to discuss world peace and also an opportunity for the Khalifa to congratulate and pray for the Queen on her diamond jubilee. O oh, powerful and noble God, through your grace and blessings, keep our honoured Queen forever happy in the same way that we are living happily under her benevolence and kindness and be kind and loving to her in the same way that we are living in peace and prosperity under her generous and righteous rule.